Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Enjoy your boy Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. This is Steven Espinosa from Showtime Sports. Shout out to Money Brown TV. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Where is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on two future Hall of Fames in this fight game. We have Terrence T. Bud Crawford, the undefeated three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WO welterweight world champion, who's considered number one pound for pound on a lot of people, pound for pound list. And then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the undefeated king of the welterweight division, the man that holds the WBC, the IBF, and the WBA super world titles. And he's also considered top three or to some number one on everyone's pound for pound list. Now we all know Earl Spence has been came out and said he's gonna fight Terrence Bud Crawford this year. Right? He don't want to wait till 2023. He's not trying to go past November, December. He won't turn his book Crawford this year. Now we all know reports came out saying that the fight has stalled, right? Because of certain situations of turns book Crawford wanting to know what's going on inside the books, where the money coming from. People are saying he he accepted 35% and Earl Spence gets 65%, right? But Earl Spence called Cap on that, and so did Steven Espinosa. But Earl Spence told Terrence Bud Crawford, like he told all you fans out there, that we're going to fight this year. Period. There's no other ifs, ands, buts about it. Me and Terrence Bud Crawford, we are fighting this year. I want that man this year for Undisputed. I'm coming to take that motherfucking belt from you, Terrence Bud Crawford. I'm coming to take that belt from you. You understand? Earl Spence has been quiet. He's been doing business behind closed doors. He's been doing everything he said he was going to do. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut till these motherfucking contracts are signed. And that's exactly what he's been doing. When it comes to turns T. Bud Crawford, right, who just had a, a birthday the other day, um, happy belated birthday to you. Hope you enjoyed yourself. It looked like you did. You was in a club singing with your family, your kids, and things of that nature. A beautiful thing to see to watch a man prosper in, in, in a sport that he loved to do, get paid for, take care of his family, you know, and, and build um, generational wealth, you know, for the Crawfords. Can't take nothing away from that. But now we're in a position where you, turns Bud Crawford, wants the fight that you say you've been wanting for the last four to five years, and now you have an opportunity to get it. So you go out and you speak things to certain uh, people and, and tell them to come out and speak certain things that, that's not true. You understand what I'm saying? Let's we'll just keep it real. The words you told Blue Blood Sports was not true, and, and they've been debunked. You understand? They've been debunked. So now, Bud, you know you're still negotiating behind the scenes. You know you want the fight. You know, you know you don't want to bag down. You know that it's not true that, you know, you accepted all the terms and that, um, you know, they only gave you 35%. Earl Spence called Cap on that. He told me personally, right? He told me personally, and I have receipts about that, that, that this fucking Cap, he wanted to see Terrence Bill Crawford said in front of the, the, the cameras and, and keep it pushing like that. Before us, the, the information that came out today is all false. Um, Mike Coppinger... Um, related bullshit, right? He related bullshit so people can take it and run with it, right? Sometimes he right, sometimes he wrong. And in this matter, he's dead as wrong. Yeah, in this matter, he's dead as wrong. Huh. Steven Espinosa came out and shut that man down. Shut him down. He did let people know that the, 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 the negotiation is still where they was at and it's still going down. We're still trying to make this fight happen. Stop believing everything y'all heard. He said, I heard speaking this business, I heard is make it hard to negotiate for Earl of True Spence Jr. And this man right here in turns T. Bud Crawford. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Bud Crawford has been quiet leading up to this point as well. But all of a sudden, he want to throw a little something out there to put out to the people. That he, he wasn't speaking to the cameras himself. You understand? And we know that everybody that, that, that won't turn Bud Crawford to be right... Everybody that feel like Terrence Bud Crawford is being treated um, unfairly, unjust, as they will say, things of that nature, they go take it, they're going to run with it, they're going to make it look like PBC is bullshit and don't want to fight with Bud and Earl because PBC don't believe in Earl the True Spence Jr. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's the most stupidest shit that I ever heard. Let's keep it real, fam. Turns Bud Crawford is one hell of a fighter. You got to give him the credit that, that he deserves. The boy is bad in the ring. Earl Spence gave him his praises. But don't think for one second Al Heyman is afraid to put Earl Spence in the ring with Turns Bud Crawford as if they see an imminent threat that, that Earl Spence can't handle. 
cut that shit out. We have the number one welterweight over here. We have a man that's holding on to three scraps, a man that's been in there with the best of the fucking best. He's not afraid of nothing. Matter of fact, he's the one on our fucking bumper, on our ass, forcing us to make this fight happen. You understand? Because if Earl Spence wanted to go to 54, he can be at 54 right now. If Earl Spence wanted to face a Keith Thurman or a Stanley Onis or a Jerron Boots Ennis or a Virgil Ortiz or a Rashidi Ellis or anybody who got up on this stable at, at, at PBC or that's doing business with Fox and, and, and Showtime, Earl Spence can make that happen. He holds the power. You understand what I'm saying? Earl the True Spence Jr. holds the power. He's the biggest name over on the PBC stable. Are y'all listening to me? Pay attention and learn something. If Earl Spence didn't want the turns Bud Crawford fight and his team didn't want it, they would have been made a different move in a different direction with anybody that they seen fit, a, a, a mandatory or anything like that, and Earl Spence would be fighting right back in Dallas Stadium. Easy. Easy. But EJ wants turns Bud Crawford and he want them now. He won't turn his blood Crawford and he want him now. How many times do the man have to say it to y'all, fam? How many times? You understand? The fight is going down this year. It's going down this year. Get ready. Now, the only thing that can be compromised right now is the November 19th date. It's, it's a possibility that, that the fight can move, you know, two weeks down the line into December. And maybe into the middle of December. Maybe the early December. We don't know. But the fight could be moved to December. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's the whole situation right now and, and little things they're trying to work out, you know, in the negotiations. But but the fight is not off the table. Um, Terrence Bud Crawford is not declining or, 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 you know, going a different route because he feel like he's getting effed over and, you know, they're trying to pay him um, no upfront money and now he ain't really getting what he get on the back end because he can't see where the money coming from. It's negative, man. All that is negative, fam. Terrence Bud Crawford is, is being treated like a stand-up individual. You know, Showtime and PBC is treating him like they treat any other fighter that come over that, they, that they're doing business with. You know, they're not trying to F that man over and get him over there and just try to do him any kind of way. That's negative. That's not how them people get down. That's not how they do business. That's not how they do business. Them people are stand-up. They're, they're A1 when it comes to doing business in this boxing game. And they're not going to stop now. You feel me? Earl Spence want this fight to get made, and they're going to do everything in their powers to make this fight happen. That's why Earl Spence has been quiet, fam. Everything been quiet with him. All he's been doing is working his ass off, getting ready for the fight, you know? And he letting them people take care of the business of it, and he got faith that they're going to make it happen, and everybody's going to be happy at the end of the day. Turns Bill Crawford will walk away with, a, with, a, with upfront money. He will walk away with back-end money, you understand? And he will go on now, he will be happy. And it will be the best business that he ever done with Showtime and PBC. And it will be the biggest bag he ever got in his entire career with Showtime and PBC. Walk my words on that. So this fight will take place this year. I don't care what no other channel say. I don't care what they putting out there, right? I'm telling y'all what Earl Spence has been telling y'all and what Earl Spence told Monty Brown, fam. You understand? Period. He called Cap on all that bullshit. And that man want to punish Terrence Bill Crawford. <laughs> I repeat. That man wants to punish Terrence Bud Crawford in that square circle to prove to y'all that he's the best motherfucker in the division and the best motherfucker in the game. You understand? So when that fight take place, I want all y'all people to come back that switch sides on Earl Spence, that talk shit about Earl Spence, that was acting like y'all was riding with him, but now y'all riding with Bud Crawford and, and, and PBC and, and Showtime is doing Bud Crawford so wrong. So now y'all want to kiss his ass and hold his hand and make it as if, you know, they, they not treating him like the, 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 the you know, the, the top caliber fighter that he is. Just make sure y'all come back and apologize to Earl Spence, man. And after that, stay on that side over there, bro. EJ don't want that fake love from all you fake cats. You feel me? He don't want that fake love. Keep that shit over that way. Flat out, fam. This fight will take place. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Try to get ready to enjoy a fight that's going to make history and, and that's going to live up to the hype. And you can tell your kids and your grandkids about it. Straight like that, man. Shouts out to ESJ. Shouts out to Terrence Bud Crawford. Y'all boys get this shit done and give us what we deserve. Period. And to the end, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey have to fit it to a gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos, and y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.